Ready for the next tour? If you haven't quit the desktop, do it now to get back to the guided tour screen. Choose Quit from the training menu. On your guided tour screen, please position the pointer to point to What's the Finder? Be sure you're pointing inside the box that says What's the Finder? Next, listen to the three tones and click the mouse button as soon as you hear the third tone. The Finder is an application on your Macintosh that helps you organize all other applications and the documents you create with them. The Finder is there every time you start your Macintosh and every time you go from one application to another. With the Finder, you open and close the various applications you'll use on your Macintosh and you manipulate the documents you create with these applications. There's a document on this disk named Example. Let's say you plan to make some changes on this document. But before you make the changes, you want to file a copy of it as it stands now. Select the document and choose the Duplicate command from the File menu. A copy of that document now appears right next to it. You would like to rename the copy and call it Old. You can change the name of the document that's selected by just typing its new name using the keyboard. Next, you would like to put the old example in a folder. Select Empty Folder and choose Duplicate again. You now have another empty folder. Move it somewhere else and type a new name for it. Examples. Now select the document named Old. Drag it and drop it into the folder named Examples. Your old example is now tucked away in that folder. To check this, you can select that folder and open it. It contains the document we just put in it. Besides duplicating, renaming, and filing documents, the Finder also helps you throw away unwanted documents or folders. You do that by selecting the document or the folder that contains it and dragging it until it is on top of the trash can. That document with its folder is now in the trash can. Open the trash can and you'll find it there. You can rescue an object from the trash can by selecting it while the trash can window is open and by dragging it back to your disk window. What you leave in the trash can will be disposed of permanently if you open a document or application or if you eject the disk from the disk drive. You can also ask your Macintosh to dispose of what's in the trash can by choosing the empty trash command from the special menu. Your Macintosh will warn you that it's about to discard what's in the trash can. You should be very careful before you put any object in the trash can. Be especially careful not to throw away what was on your disk when you started it. With the Finder, you can also get information on any object. Select the object you're interested in and choose Get Info from the File menu. With this command, the Finder calls up another window which has some information about that object. The window also has a box for comments. This is where you can type your pertinent comments about that object to help you with your work later. A blinking vertical bar indicates where text is inserted. This is called the insertion point. What you type is inserted at this point. If you make a mistake, use the backspace key to go back and retype. You don't need to use the return key at the end of the line. The space for comments is limited. If you want to delete or move a large part of your comment, point to the beginning of that part, hold down the mouse button, and drag through it. Once it's selected, go to the Edit menu and choose Cut. This command will place the selection you've cut onto a clipboard, where it will be held temporarily. If you wish to paste what you just cut somewhere else, click where you want to paste it and choose the Paste command from the Edit menu. What you cut is pasted in its new position. This is how you'll enter and change text on all of your Macintosh applications. In learning to use the Finder, you're learning not only how the Finder itself works 
and what it does, but also how other applications work. Let's close this information window now either the way you already know, by choosing Close from the File menu, or by clicking in the box on the upper left-hand corner. This is the Close box. The Close box is a shortcut that does exactly the same thing as the Close command if you click on it. Next, select several objects and choose Get Info again. The Finder will open information windows for all of them stacked up very nicely. You can close each window after you've seen the information by clicking on the Close box in the upper left-hand corner. You've now seen the Finder at work with some of its most useful functions. With these and other features, you'll soon manage and organize your applications and the documents that you've created yourself. Let's choose the Quit command from the training menu next so you can get back to your guided tour screen and do what you just learned yourself. You can stop and practice now or continue. If you stop and wish to experiment with the Finder, stop the tape recorder. Point to, let me use my Macintosh, and click. While you're doing what you've just learned, please throw away any new documents or folders and empty the trash before you go back to your guided tour. If you create new documents or folders and leave them on your desktop, your tour program will be very confused about where those documents came from and it will stop. When you're finished practicing, choose Quit from the training menu and get back to the guided tour screen.